Hi, my name is Jonathan Acosta. I'm a second year at FSU, and I'll be doing a monologue from The Other Guys by Adam McKay and Hamlet. Okay, first off, a lion swimming in the ocean? Lions don't like water. Okay, if you placed it near a river or some fresh water source, that makes sense. But the ocean, 20 foot waves, I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa. And you find yourself confronting a full grown 800 pound tuna? 20 or 30 of his friends, all right, you lose that battle. You lose that battle nine times out of 10, and guess what? Now we've communicated. Now we've talked to each other. We said, you know what, I like lion. Let's go get us some more lion. We've established a beachhead to aggressively hunt and kill your family, your children, your offspring. We've developed breathing apparatus. All right, we won't be able to carry uh, oxygen for a day, but an hour, hour 45, no problem. Now you're outgunned and outmanned. That will give us enough time to find out where you live. Go back to sea, get some more oxygen, then come back and stalk you. Did that go how you thought it was gonna go? Nope. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, no more. And by sleep, to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished to die, to sleep. To sleep, perchance, to dream. Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come? When we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's consumely, the pangs of despised love. The law's delay, the insolence of office and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes. When he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. Who would fardels bear? to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that, the dread of something after death. The undiscovered country, from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. Thus conscience doth make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with the pale cast of thought. And enterprises of great pith and moment, with this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action.